Okay, great. So we're joined today by Hanyu Haderman from the uh, ISU, one of the um, organising committee here today in the event in Senyuki. Hanyu, thanks for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, tell us a little bit about this Junior World Cup series that we're at today. Okay, uh, the ISU organises every year Junior World Cups and we organize uh, in totally three Junior World Cups, two in St. Naoki, this weekend and next weekend. There are skaters from all over the world. From this year, we are very glad that we have again skaters from Asia because of COVID situation there. The Chinese are here. Uh, what we're missing this year is uh, the North American, the USA skaters and the Canadian skaters. And so next week there's also a World Cup in St. Naoki and the third World Cup will be in Insel. It will be at the beginning of February next year. It's together with the World Championship for Juniors also in, in Insel. So there's three World Cup events for Juniors this yeah. year and two of them are taking place here in St. Naoki. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. And St. Naoki was, for, what I heard, for 11 years not uh, uh, the venue where the or the championship for the World Cup was organized, so this is the first year again, and I think they do a good job. It's well organized, it's, it's a clean uh, venue, it's good, and it's nice that it's outside because we are used to skate almost every time in uh, indoor uh, accommodation. And does that make it um, somehow different or better, or is it just different challenges? It's different challenges. <laughs> Because we have to deal with the weather. Yesterday we had good weather, it was dry, it was cold, but no problem, uh, less wind. And today it looks like some snow, so we have to be careful by surfacing the ice. When, we, when there's snow on the ice, we, we have to surface the ice in other way as we do it when it's dry. So it's a challenge. Also for the skaters, because most of the skaters are very often training indoor. So uh, this is a new, yeah, a new, a new experience, yeah, uh, yeah, an exo new something exotic that they're yeah, not yeah. used to. Yeah, yeah, but it's good for them. Right. It's, a, it's a winter sport. And do you normally get um, spectators coming to watch these events? I hope that uh, uh, perhaps this afternoon or next week more spectators because it's good to see all the young skaters from the different countries skating here. And in former years, uh, skaters were skating in Junior World Cups and were later Olympic champions. Okay, in because, interesting. Because of one of the most famous skaters is Sven Kramer, the Dutch, and he has a track record here. He skated in the Junior um, Championship here, and he was several times uh, Olympic champion, world champion. So. so people coming down here should pay attention to who's skating, because you never know who might be, might be one day. Yeah, might be the next Olympic Games in Italy on the podium. Fantastic. Everything is possible. Hanyu Hedeman, thank you very much for joining us. Today. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, now we're joined by Nanna Rintala, who's part of the Seine Johan uh, Club that's organising this event. Thanks, Nanna, for joining us. Thank you. So, this is quite a big deal for Seine Yoki to have this World Cup Junior Ice uh, Speed Skating event. Yes, it really is. We have uh, athletes from more than 23 countries, over almost 200 athletes, and uh, actually this is the biggest uh, Junior World Cup event ever, I guess. Maybe it's after the COVID years that everybody is now finally coming here. And it's a big thing for the city as well. We have athletes staying for uh, almost 300 athletes staying uh, over two weeks here because there are two consecutive week weekends. Yes, so if people see uh, athletes out training from different from different countries, maybe running around the town and, and keeping fit, that's why because you've you've got these people from all over the all over the place coming here for this uh, for these events. Yes, exactly. And we're talking today on the first weekend, um, but Seinjoki is actually hosting two separate weekends like you like you just said so this is a big deal for the town as well there's a lot of people staying here for a, an extended time yes it really really is and and uh, we have had a lot of support from the town in organizing this 
and also we are organizing it together with the Finnish Speed Skating Association so we get help from from there and also the Finnish um, or the Seinäjoki, the local clubs for figure skating and ice hockey, they are doing their share. Yeah, so what, what have the other, the other clubs and associations done to, to help you with this? Well, you know, we have just so many dressing rooms, just so many facilities and, and bringing suddenly 300 people for, for a long competition days and also for the training during the week. You know, they have given their rehearsal times and they are putting their game calendars off and, and you know, pitching in in that way. It's so it's a real, a real cooperation between all the different, all really, the different clubs really. in, in the area, which is, which is great to hear. And this is a spectator event. So now I guess you need the rest of Saniyoki and the surrounding area to, to join in and, and make this a real, a real event. Yes. It's really a rare opportunity to see speed skating in this way here because these youngsters from 16 to 22, so almost, you know, grown-ups actually, uh, they are and they will be the best skaters of the future and some of them already are. So you have a possibility to see world-class speed skating and speed skating is a wonderful spectator sport so what i would like to have now is to have the audience here and and Seinijoki is known as a a town that hosts many different events throughout throughout the whole year and they have people attending so let's let's get people here supporting you your your partners and these young athletes to you know to be able to skate in front of a crowd that would be great i know it will be such a different atmosphere with the crowd and we have free entry and next weekend we're also giving out free sausage now if there's anything <laughs> guaranteed to get people to your event i think free entry and free sausage is the way to go nanna rintela thank you very much for joining us thank you and welcome okay now we're very privileged to be joined by Becca Koskiller, um, who is a local speed skating hero, let's say. <laughs> Becca, yeah. thanks for joining us today. Thank you, it's nice to be here. So we're on your home, your home track? Yeah, this is the track that I used to learn to skate with the speed skates since I, I was seven years old. And after that happened a lot, you know. I, I skated Finnish national records here and uh, took some titles in you know, Junior Worlds. and. It's, it's a precious track for me. And, and we're, we're doing this in English, so there's a lot of people watching this that, that um, maybe have moved here quite recently. So tell them a little bit, where, how, how far did you go with your, with your skating career? Yeah, I, I skated a few, a few world records, you know. I, I traveled the world uh, 18 years with the national team. We are going back and forth to Japan, uh, Eurasia. Um, America, Europe, like a whole, whole winter, and and, and and Olympics as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm a four-time Olympian. So it, it was an achievement for me. It's it's an incredible achievement. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> and, and and now you're giving something back to the to the juniors here in Seinäjoki and helping with this event. Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm just the, on the prize giving ceremony and enjoying the atmosphere you know it, it's not an ordinary day in Seinäjoki that we are having a lot of international guests for two weeks almost and uh, it's it's important for the legacy of the speed skating club in Seinäjoki we are full of uh, very uh, let's say hard-working uh, volunteers here and so next week we're hoping to try and encourage even more spectators along. Yeah. What would you say to them to encourage them to come? Yeah, it's, uh, it's something you cannot experience here quite often. 
and uh, there's not that many sports that is involved with uh, Japanese, American, uh, uh, Australian guys and girls and uh, that's something that, uh, I think everybody should know in Senegal. Yeah. Well, I hope that what we're doing here today and with your encouragement we can get a few more people here, Pekka Koskula. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.